going to Pisgah Crater, which is like a dormant volcanic crater. Our producer was looking around on Google Earth and I think he found it. And we just came out and thought it was super amazing and decided to shoot here. We wanted it pretty like devoid of life, kind of. So like there yeah. would be these kind of surreal events happening and it would feel like it's on this like otherworldly void that they're inside of. And you could feel like the energy and like the heat just throughout your whole body, like in your veins just. And that's what we yeah. wanted. We wanted everybody to feel that way. Yeah, the heat like it radiates through your feet into your body and like people were feeling like they didn't know whether they wanted to like cry or like freak out. Oh my smiling was a but they wanted to make this epic video and then create like a world, so, like a world for them. And we were like, we could do something interactive to kind of put you into this world, mm -hmm. kind of create like these portals where you can go into these scenes and explore them more in depth, I guess. They loved that idea. You did the music video and then you did an extra like online. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We actually brought this 360 camera out here that shoots in all angles at all times. But yeah, we brought that out and we were able to strap it as a rig like onto the person riding the horse and then onto the heads of some of the people that were running in the Poor video. Guys. No, it wasn't okay. that heavy. It wasn't that heavy. <laughs> we definitely like the idea of like the interactive art serving as kind of like a component to the live action things mm -hmm. we shoot. So you have this live action thing that you would normally see as a video or like as a film, but then to be able to get inside of it and like look around. As a director, you're always telling these stories and you're always communicating something and this is just like a different way of trying to find like how do you how do you put somebody in the space a little deeper, you mm -hmm. know, and how do you make them feel something. Like yeah. for instance, like for the Black Moss Super Rainbow video mm -hmm. we made, we were able to give it to someone else with all the visual elements that we shot and they could put it together with the way you can control it like with your webcam in your hand. I like the idea of like interactive art being something that instead of being like showy of the technology, it would be something that you're controlling or like mm -hmm. using it to further your senses. Like if the internet's like this flat thing that you're looking at and then like we want it to be like bust through that. I guess it's like as the internet gets like more efficient, there'll be more ways of like more intense interaction. Well, there's a lot more things that will be possible probably later. first met in art school that we went to in Atlanta and uh, we started doing installations and stuff together and like really got into a lot of similar stuff. We did a music video for of Montreal mm -hmm. and then we kind of started doing more and more after that. That was like us scratching the surface I guess as far mm -hmm. as like what we want to explore. Yeah. So then we moved to LA after that which was like two years ago. There's this really insane very severe like energy here yeah. you know. It feels like the further east you go, the more people are skeptical about being able to do things. Here, you just like, you really feel like you can do just like anything. Yeah.